Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well I'm here today to review finally to try the Norns eyeshadow palette from Odin's Eye. Uh, I bought this the day it launched and uh, like I said in my previous video I haven't been able to film. I took some time off but I'm here again trying to review and tell you my thoughts about these palettes. Now this is a beautiful palette. It kind of reminds me of, the pens kind of reminds me of Color Beauty, uh, Color Pop I mean, Color Pop and the color stain is stunning. So I'm going to create a makeup look. I'm not really sure what kind of makeup look I'm going to create because there are so many beautiful shades but I'll try to use as many shades as possible. So if you want to hear my thoughts and see how this one is going to work on me then please keep on watching. Okay, I already re reviewed two of the smaller palettes. I have the third one where is only all of the shades all like shimmery shades. And I thought about filming that video today, but you know what? I saw this huge one and I kind of decided to go with that. I'm using the Hourglass primer. It's a very good primer though. It doesn't really last um, as long as I want it to. Not as many hours it was as I would like, but that review with eyeshadow primers will come soon on my channel. I'm still working and trying out, but I still want to, you know, use it today because I do know how it's working with my eyeshadows and I'm not going anywhere. So we are going to use it today and to set my eyeshadow base because yes, I do do that. I'm going to go in with Clean ID Catrice powder. I'm going to go in with a dry sponge, not the cleanest, but I don't want to use my wet sponge that I'm going to go in with my foundation late, later. So eyeshadow base is done. Let's go with eyeshadows and I'm going to go and use a fluffy brush and I want to go in. Hmm, well, here is when we're going to decide what makeup look we are going to go in with. So I don't want, I do want to go in dark today because you've seen probably many bright, beautiful eyeshadow looks or makeup looks now for the spring. But, and I also filmed a couple of these, but I want to go dark today. So I'm going to go in with this purple here and they do have a mirror, but I don't like the shape of the mirror. I would prefer if it was the whole side just because it's kind of it's a cute cute thought but I would prefer if the whole palette or whole side was um, was a mirror now I love Odin's beauty uh, Odin's eye makeup or I eyeshadows can't speak I forgot how to speak they're blending very nice and I do like them now when we have this purple where we want it, I th thinking about going in, I know this one is a little bit shimmery. This is the realism, realism. It looks like to be a satin finish or something like that, but I do want to blend it in here. not matte but I do want this to deep up my outer corner I mean this is blending very nice and if you can see I'm not pressing hard at all I'm just trying to work with it in slow motions and it's blending very nice it's doing exactly what I wanted to do and then with the rest of the product we're going to blend it in. I'm not adding more eyeshadow, I'm just blending what I have on my brush. So there is a little bit of fallout uh, on this, I don't know if you can see, but it's not actually bothering me. And I think this fallout is from the mascara that I used yesterday. And it's the Sky Maybelline Sky High uh, mascara, which I like, but it's a pain in the butt to <laughs> remove. 
um, and I didn't succeed really good. But there is a little bit of fallout from this eyeshadow, but I think this looks so beautiful. I'm really happy so far. But I really, really want to go into this red. So we are going to do that. I don't know if you can hear my kids playing outside this room, but as soon as I start filming, they're loud. Okay, I'm going to go in and use dry brush, and this is the Linda Halbert 305. I'm going to go in in this red passion because this red looks very stunning. Let's swatch it. It looks to be like satin finish too. Yes, but we are going to top it with another shade. Not really sure which one, but we'll see. There are two I want to try on the eyelid. So let's go in with. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this red shade. It's just perfect. Let's try it with the finger. Oh, it feels like butter. Yeah, that's stunning. It's working with the finger. Guys, I don't know if you can hear my neighbors are renovating at home right now and it's so loud. So my kids are loud and my neighbors are loud. I don't know how I'm going to finish this makeup look, but we'll do it somehow. I mean, it doesn't bother me as I just hope you don't hear it. So it doesn't, you know, destroys the sound for this video too much. So I'm going to take a smaller flat brush and I'm going to go in with, I don't know, I have two shades here. I want to go with pink chameleon. I can't pronounce it. That's kind of like a duochrome or this Amber Palace. Which one? Amber Palace. It's like a topper and this, oh, this one is like a duochrome. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? I don't know if I'm even showing you that. Like pink. I can't really see it, but it's like gold, green and pink. I think I'm going to go in with that one. The pink caramel or chamele I can't pronounce the name. I'm going to butch everything. Let's see. Oh wow. The, this is turning this look into something unreal. Looks like fire. Orange, green, red. I love it. So stunning shade. It's just making this red look like fire. I love it. I don't know if you can see it. I don't feel like the camera really shows how it's looking on my eyes in real, but it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We are going to stop there and I'm going to clean my under eyes and I'll go and finish the makeup look and then I'll be back to finish the eye look and tell you and maybe swatch the palette. So hi guys, I'm back. Now I finished my makeup look and I got some mascara under my eyes, so I'm going to fix that. Let's finish the eye look. On my lips I do have the Pat McGrath's lip gloss and this is the new shade. I think it's called Flesh. This darker, there are two shades in the packaging. One is Flesh Fantasy, the lighter, and this is darker. It must be my favorite lip gloss texture or formula that I've tried that's long wearing, comfortable, just perfect. I love that. I don't know if you tried any lip gloss from Pat McGrath, but it's a good investment. I think it's very good. Okay, I'm going to go in on the lower lash line and I do want to kind of switch it a little bit. So I am going to go in with this blue kind of, it looks different on camera than on real life, but we are going to go in with that shade just to try as many shades as possible in this palette. Trying a new foundation too, that's what I'm not talking about it. And I just applied it, that video will come up soon on my channel. I don't know if it's going to be before this one or after this one, but I am going to blend everything and I'm going to go in and take a smaller blending brush. And I'm going to go in with this shade up here. I'm not going to try to pronounce because I know I'm going to butcher the name. It's a kind of 
these shades, some of these shades I don't have in other palettes and I have over 100 palettes and I'm glad I got this or got into this brand because their shadows are phenomenal. I do want to go in with this shimmer, some of these shimmery shades. So I do want to go in with this green one though. I'm, I am going to look like a Christmas tree, but should we know? Let's go with the orange. Maybe it will look different with the orange under it. Let's take a pointier brush. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, a little bit crumbly. That's cute. I think I want to wet this because this formula of their shimmer shades are, is very beautiful but very loose. It's not loose powder, it's just stunning formula. But it's going to go everywhere and I don't want it to go everywhere so... Oh, that's beautiful. I like that. This is beautiful. Okay, so I do want to go in with this Amber Palace or yes, this shade here. Hello, this shade here with the same smaller brush and kind of try to build it up here. Oh, that's cute. I like that. This shade is more like a topper. Beautiful. I like that a lot. I like that. My hair is a total mess, but I really like how this look turned out. It's kind of smoky, deep, different, a little bit Christmas looking, but I don't mind. I really like how it turned out. I think it looks perfect. I think it looks nice and I really like this palette. I'm definitely going to create more makeup look with this palette, but um definitely going to go and try a little bit more of this. I want to swatch all of the shades, not all of them, but some shades that we didn't use today. This shade here and these down here are stunning. Very smooth and very nice. Let's see if we can swatch them here. Oh, look at this. I mean, can you see how beautiful these are? I mean, this is like a dream. Uh, let's see if we can swatch some more shades. I don't think, did we swatch this one? Yes, we did. Let me swatch this green. And this one here that we did not use. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, this is nice. This looks to be more like a black, yeah. Cute, I like that. That could be used as um, eyeliner or something or deep up the other corner, outer corner. I really like this palette and I think it's worth the money. I think it's worth the price. I think it's definitely something that will bring something new to my collection. That's kind of a huge collection. But I'm loving this brand and I'm loving, uh, more that I try from them, more I get into this brand and want to try more. Uh, I still have one more palette from this collection that I'm going to review that will soon be on my channel, I promise. Guys, but thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below if you try this palette or you're curious to try it. What do you think about the shades? Um, and uh, let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notifi notification bell, and I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye!